today I have some sleepover trips because, you know, we have sleepovers and that's what we do sometimes. So today I have seven, seven sleepover tips for you. <laughs> okay, let's get it started. The first, you bring an, a blow-up air mattress. And make sure it's kind of like small, like this, so you can like bring it in your suitcase or backpack or tote bag or whatever you bring. And it's like, okay, number two, unzip your sleeping bag. So, unzip your sleeping bag because it's, so it feels more like a bed, you know? Because you don't, you're not in like a little pod in your bed, you're like, the sheets can like, go everywhere and comfort her and it's not like even for me I'm kind of a crazy sleeper so like it always gets untucked and I try to you know sleep so just unzip your sleeping bag so it feels more like your bed three use a, a throw blanket blanket because it just helps because I sleep with like three blankets I sleep with my sheet my 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 comforter and my throw blanket not any any specific order anyway so I like to have this because it's just a nice thing to have super nice and that like like this, this part's all like closed off. Like you should put it like a little bit off in case your foot like falls off with the sleeping bag. And you know, you need like a blanket there so your foot doesn't get cold. So you can just don't, you don't have to worry about that, you know? Okay, next we have bring like as many pillows as you need because pillows are very important and I'll tell you why. I was like, I'm one of, like, I'm one of those people, you know, one of those people who need like two pillows to sleep. I know some people need one pillow and they're like, whatever this is, is that vertical? It's horizontal. So, um, don't mind me. I'm not. Just pretend like I'm not going into middle school. It's fine. It's fine. Just pretend like I'm in kindergarten. Anyways, so horizontally, I need it to be diagonal or just higher up because my neck like starts to like kill me because like. It just hurts. I, like my head starts to tingle. It's like the blood's rushing to my head or something, and that's bad. So I need two pillows. So just bring enough pillows. Like you don't. I only brought one pillow, so that's nice because I have this nice little pillow under here. So I only need to bring one. But you can either bring two yourself, or you can ask whoever you're sleeping over with for a different pillow to put under. So yeah, okay, pull up your sleeping bag. So that's kind of confusing, but what I mean is like, to like pull it up as much as you could, because you know, once you go to sleep, you start to like toss and turn, or you don't, fine. But like, I toss and turn and it does, I find it really annoying because like it gets all bunched up under my like back and so I have to wake up even more to fix that and now I'm wide awake so that's great. So just tuck your sleeping bag like further up so it doesn't do that as easily unless you're me.
not this way. But it's fine. Okay. Next. Dress. Next. Next. Dress appropriately for the weather. So, right now it's summer, so like wear a tank top or t shirt and like shorts. So you don't roast. You might still roast, but you won't roast as much. <laughs> Unless it's like an air conditioner. But we don't need to get into the details. But, um, and if it's like winter, then like wear long sleeve shirt and pants or t shirt and pants, you know. And if it's like spring or fall, you can decide depending on what the weather is supposed to be like. Why am I wrapping my hands so much? Anyways, okay. Lucky number seven. Bring a white noise machine or like headphones or something. Because like in like case somebody snores or like there's like like loud like thunder or, or like the wall I don't know what that sounds like, but it's probably loud. But <laughs> hopefully they don't do that. But <laughs> my point is, just like you don't have to do this, but it's like it helps me a lot because I don't really like it when people snore because I just can't. I can't sleep when people. So, I need a white noise machine to like block it, all of the background noise out so I can sleep, you know? But you could also bring like headphones. Me personally don't understand how people sleep with headphones because I'm a side sleeper and I just can't. It doesn't, just, it doesn't work out. My head's like this, like some of it's elevated and then it's like pushing into my ear and now my ear is red and now like half of my head isn't on the pillow and I'm like what the heck so that's why it's a problem for me to sleep on airplanes I mean I could always just you know take you don't want to that's really a big problem for me but anyways yeah so just do whatever helps you sleep, makes you happy, so, so, <laughs> I don't know why I keep looking over there, it's just trees, and windows, and that's literally all, so, <laughs> thanks for watching this video, guys, if you liked my sleepover tips video, make sure you like it, and subscribe to my channel, if you want me to do another video like this one. See you guys. Have a good day. Bye.